Hey Taurus, Alice here and welcome to your energy check-in reading. So we're just going to see what is the incoming energy like for you right now in the current energy. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus uh, placements. Uh, you could be cross-watching, of course, or um, if you just felt drawn to this reading for whatever reason. Uh, these aren't horoscopes. You don't have to follow your signs, um, but they are there to help guide people to the messages um that may be for them so this could be maybe you're, you're stumbled upon this because of the title or it just popped up onto your feed either way if you're here and you feel like it resonates with you and you feel drawn to it there could be a message in here for you um all the information about me and my readings are in the description box below uh feel free to check that out uh, just keep in mind that these are general readings, so not everything may apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't try to force it. Might not be your story, could be somebody else's. Um, and yeah, these are also timeless. So <laughs> whenever you find this, uh, could be when you were meant to find this reading. Uh, your time is different than my time. June 2023 is just when I'm doing the readings. Doesn't necessarily mean it's for June, unless that is your time okay anyways <laughs> enough of that we're gonna get started so let's just see what is the incoming energy like for you let's see what's going on Knight of Wands. I don't know who this is. This feels like a person. This is somebody fearless. I got fearless energy. Somebody who's um like trying something out, kind of. It's it's somebody who wants to do something. Very focused. Focused on you, perhaps. I want to know more about this. Could be somebody with fire placements. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else can you tell me about this? Four of Cups. Six of Cups. Okay. This person could be somebody from your past, somebody that you knew before, could be somebody from a past life, could be soulmate energy here as well. Um, you may have rejected this energy before. This could be somebody that I, I wouldn't say like you straight up rejected them, but maybe you just kind of shrugged off, um, didn't really pay that close attention to, maybe you just weren't interested in them in the past. There's something here about some sort of disinterest. You could have had other things going on, possibly, maybe other things that you were focused on here. But I'm getting a little bit of regret here, because Alice, she's like... She's trapped in the bottle because she, what is it, what is it she drank, because there's the drink me, eat me thing. Whatever one she took to make herself smaller, it's like almost like she regrets it because now she's trapped in the bottle and she's like, ah, I just wanted the key, right? So there's a bit of regret here. Why the four cups? Five of wands. Mmm. You could have been persuaded by other energies, or just could have been competition. I feel like competition for your attention, um, perhaps. Uh, not necessarily like there are other people. There, It feels like you were just doing other things. And so this energy, maybe you just really, it wasn't your focus at the time, but it feels like now what's coming towards you is more of a focus on this. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a person or it can be that your energy is now you're focusing on something that you weren't focusing on before, perhaps because there was just other energies. You just had other things to do. That's what I'm getting with the five of wands. Um, just competition, other things that you that you needed to focus on, um, other more important things. I feel. Why is this five of wands here? Three of swords. Mm. Yeah, I feel like if you had other things to focus on, it was you know important to you at the time. Three of swords. It was something that 
Um, I can't like you needed to handle it. Maybe for your own sanity here. Um, because this feels like a third energy. It's like, it feels very karmic. It's like something that you needed to take care of with the three of swords and the five of wands it, it's not like you you could have ignored have ignored it but um it does feel like you had to focus on it otherwise it could become a bigger thing yeah two of wands you did make a decision here to focus more on this energy rather than other energies around you this was a free will decision on your part Four of Swords. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's, it's what I, I said. It was more for your own sanity to gain your own sort of peace of mind. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Um, whatever this was, uh, it's like you had to ignore something else in order. It's like I had to deal with this first. I had to deal with this first in order so I can get some peace of mind here. Um, but it seems now something that you ignored for this energy um that energy is coming back here it's coming back around this is something from your past it was there before you just ignored it because you had other things to deal with you know it happens and now there's more of a focus now it's like almost like now you can focus on this now now you're 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 able to focus on this energy why is the six of cups here The Six of Cups is so cute. I just get, it's so adorable. I just get, it's so cute. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like for some people it could be a pet because I'm just getting something that's really like so adorable. I don't know why I'm feeling such a strong, like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's Alice here, her little face. I don't know why I'm just so drawn to her little face. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Her little tiny face is so fucking cute. So. There's something about this energy that it's just mm, cute. I don't know why. <laughs> There's just something so adorable about it. Uh, it makes me think of like a pet, like a puppy or a kitten or something like that. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it is. It's coming back around. Whatever this is. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's coming back around because you've accomplished something. Nine of Pentacles is, you know, something that you put um, effort into and now you're enjoying, you know, the fruits of your labor there. And so now you can come back to this energy. Yeah, I feel like whatever this was that you were dealing with here, um, like it doesn't say that you finished it. It's probably not finished, but it's at a, at least it's at a point where I feel you you feel some sort of peace of mind with it. So now you can focus on something else, something that, something from the past is very cute, or at least there's just a really nice feeling about it, and that you can kind of relax with it. You can return to this energy. You can return to think about whatever this is. What else can you tell me about this? Why the Six of Swords in reverse? Oop. Queen of Cups. Aww. Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, it's been waiting for you. Or you've been waiting for it. There's a sort of patient energy. It's like I was waiting, you know, till I got this under control here before I could give my emotions to this, before I could actually like feel something. It's not feeling something, but it's like before I could, the Queen of Cups, she's a very kind energy, very caring, very caring, very empathetic. So it's like, now you can come back and give your emotions to this. Like it feels like more like now you can focus on giving love to whatever this energy is. Maybe before you couldn't because it's like, I need to deal with this for my own sanity so I can have some peace of mind. And once you have some peace of mind, then it's like, now I can give to this. I can give like my heart in a sense. 
You know what I mean? I'm not saying like, like, I'm not saying you couldn't before, but it's easier now here. It's easier. And it's just like, it's the time, the time, like now is the time you feel like now is the time. It can also be, you just feel like now is the time, um, to come back around to this energy. It's like, it just feels right now. You know, one more, one more here, Queen of Cups. Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Lots of knights, lots of action here. I feel like you've been busy. Um, knights like to do things. Uh, they like either they do things or they're focused on things here. I feel Here you've been careful about especially third energies here because we have the three of swords here to me This three of swords is feeling polar opposite to this three of cups. So there was an energy before It could be like a karmic type of energy where it's like I need to deal with this Whereas we have the three of cups here. It's more of I get more of a relaxed feeling here with the knight of pentacles this is like you know you're able to take your time because it's like i wanted to it's like i wanted to th i wanted to have like a relaxing tea party type of vibe here i didn't really want to worry about getting hurt i didn't really want to worry about any sort of karma bad karma whatever you want to call it um so it's like it's almost like this is like almost trying to tie up a loose end i don't know if you did but at least i feel like it got to a point where you don't have to really think about it. There's some peace here. This seems like an everyday thing. I'm, I'm gonna say because a lot of it is, well, it's all minor arcana. So this is just something going on in your life. And this is all minor arcana as well. So I do feel like, I mean, you can even see like this side is a lot nicer compared to this side, which this is more the past. This is where we're heading more towards the near future. So. I feel whatever it is that you're able to focus on, it's like you can focus on this nice energy here. The Three of Cups is very harmonious type of energy. It could be with other people feeling a lot more social, but in that social, it's like feeling a lot more comfortable in a sense, like, uh, like feeling like you can share how you feel or just sharing experiences with other people here. Still, you know, being kind of careful with the, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like not going all crazy here, but at the least, it's it's a very reliable energy. It's like, you, it's like feeling like you can trust the people around you because you've kind of figured something out over here or you've dealt with it. So now you can focus on this. Or this is focusing on you. I don't know which way it's going. I don't know who's who. Okay, let's see. What else? What else is coming towards you in relation to this energy? It's all relative. Oh. Thief. Uh, why is that there? Before I say anything. Mm, that is a lot. I'm going to take the top. Oh, wait, why? Shit. Okay. So there's an energy. I feel like this is around you. Um, of feeling like uh it's not like a missed out energy it's like feeling like you've wasted some sort of opportunity or time or something overindulgence can talk about um when you've you've overdid it you've you've done a little too much i don't know i feel like this is the energy around you though i don't know if this is you this feels like somebody else um I don't know why I'm getting house party with house and or, or, or something at home, doing a little too much at home. This can be anything. This could be drinking too much. Like the, the, the what I'm getting with thief is like stolen time. Like I've wasted something because I did too much of something. That's what I'm getting here. So somebody feels they've maybe they've been unproductive. 
um, they sort of wasted um, something, some sort of time or something by doing too much. It feels related to something at home. Um, it could be spending too much time at home. It could be procrastinating at home, being lazy. It can be uh, drinking at home, uh, some sort of substance abuse possibly here. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could be just some sort of maybe bad habit, doing too much of something at home. But I'm getting, it is at home. It has taken place at home. Somebody is maybe staying inside too much. Um, could be oversleeping, sleeping too much. Um, I don't know, binge watching Netflix or something. I, I, I don't know, maybe like watching like seven seasons of a show nonstop. I don't know, there's just this feeling of being unproductive. I wasted time because I did too much of something at home. Okay, so why? Why, why is this here? Mm, yeah, it almost feels like waiting for something to happen or just longing for something to happen. What is this waiting? Why? Why is waiting here? Mm, thinking you've been waiting or whoever this is thinking they've been waiting for too long here. Yeah, and that's starting to kind of get frustrating. This is very, this is very frustrating energy here. I get somebody, it's like they've been sitting at home and they've been waiting for something to happen. I, I don't really know what, but it's perhaps it's gone on a little too much or a little too long. It's frustrating. This is frustrating energy. This is I this I I find this very frustrating. I've been I've been waiting, I've been longing, expecting something to happen, but all I get is just being at home and kind of overindulging in things and I feel like I'm being unproductive. I feel like I'm wasting my time. Okay. Hmm. I don't know who this is. It's here. It can be your energy. It can be coming towards you. This can be somebody around you. It feels mostly that it's around you. It could be somebody that you live with that is feeling this way. Um, or it's somebody's energy around you who is feeling this way. Maybe somebody who's spending a lot of time at home. It's a general reading, so I can't really, like, pinpoint it down, okay? Um, let's see. What's the potential outcome for these energies? Where is it all heading in the near future? King of Pentacles. There's an understanding. Somebody understands what they need to do. Mm, okay. I, I feel they want to get out of the house. This feels related to this energy. But let me see. Why is the Four of Wands here? Because especially in this deck, this Four of Wands, it feels... See, most decks of Four of Wands to me feels like there's something stable here. You know, it's like happy time, celebration. This is, to me, in this deck... The Four of Wands often feels like somebody who uh, is either trying to fix something in their life that has been disrupted, um, like finally, like you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally fix this because it's, it's gone on too long, kind of thing. Because like Alice, <laughs> she's in the house and she's, she's kind of ruined. Was that the White Rabbit's house? It's like she, she kind of like ruined it because she. She did something that maybe she wasn't really supposed to do and now she's in big trouble and now she's got to find her own way out. That's what it kind of feels like to me. So I feel with the King of Pentacles here, somebody has, somebody understands now what they need to do. King of Pentacles is somebody, a mature energy. Um, somebody who kind of knows what they need to do to be successful. Seeing things a lot more rationally and wanting to do something about it. Yeah, I feel like this is just somebody who just wasn't seeing this, the, the Four of Wands. It feels kind of like this energy here. Whoever this, the house energy, who's been in the house, because that's what this feels like, it's like they now see what they need to do with the Two of Swords. I now see what I need to do here. Okay. I don't see, like, I see some action. I don't see a whole lot of action. 
Page of Swords. Um, they might have saw somebody, you know, they might be following somebody's example. They could be following your example here. Because I get a, I've been watching. I've been watching what you've been doing. Yeah, okay. Hierophant and the King of Cups. So where this energy is heading, I feel whoever that house energy is, that person who feels like they're stuck in the house, um, it's like they see now what they need to do. They see now maybe how to get out of the house here. It seems to be that they're following somebody's example, following somebody's lead. They've noticed somebody um, here. So they're just, yeah, it feels like they're following it. Um, it honestly feels like they want to get out of a rut with this hierophant here. You know, they've been in this sort of, they've been playing it safe. They've been in the status quo all this time. And they see an example of how to break out of this. It, it does feel like they're learning, but it's like learning indirectly. Like, it doesn't feel like, like if they're following your example, it's not like they asked you like 20 questions about, well, you know, how did you do this? Or like, what did you do this to get out of this and whatever? It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like they were observing you and through that observation, they now see what they need to do to get out of the mess that they're in. That is the house mess. And so now they understand um, here. With that King of Cups, it just feels like somebody who, they feel like they, they do, they are a kind person. Um, they just, like they don't take a lot of action. Like this doesn't feel like somebody who is impulsive. <laughs> this feels like somebody who um, is pretty passive here. But when they see something that makes sense, and if it's good, and if it's going to benefit not just them but the people around them, then they have more. I guess you could call it motivation to do something. I feel like this is somebody you live with. If it's not somebody you live with, it could be a family member or somebody that you're close to. Okay. Um, that's what I have for you, Taurus, for today, for this reading. So thanks for watching. Um, you can always check out any of the other signs or any other readings on my channel if you're feeling drawn to them. There could be messages in there for you. They're all pretty much timeless. Um, so you can do that. Uh, but I'm going to leave you here for today. I hope that you have a good day or good night wherever you are. Take care, good luck, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.